Hello. Today we're going to do a quick review of how to add two and three digit numbers. So you want to start with a sheet of paper and one of the clues or tips that I use is that I write neatly. Whatever type of math you're doing, writing neatly will help you do a better job. Let's start with a three digit number, 176 plus 148. And notice how neatly I'm writing these numbers. And I'm making sure that the numbers in the ones column are lined up vertically. The numbers or the digits in the tens column are lined up vertically and the digits in the hundreds column are lined up vertically. Whenever we do addition of more than one digit, we want to start always in the ones column and add those numbers together. So 6 plus 8 is 14. So we'll put the 4 down here in the ones column because if you look at 14. The 4 is in the 1's column and this 1 is in the 10's column. So this is the 1's column here so we put the 4 in this column and we carry the 10 over here to the 10's column. Now we add 7 plus 1 is 8 and 8 plus 4 is 12. So again we put the 2 down and we carry the 1. And now we have 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3. 324. Now if you want to check this problem using the inverse operation, you can take this number, 324, and subtract 148 from it, and you should get 176 if you did everything correctly. Let's try that. So we have 324 minus... 148. In this way, not only are you checking your problem with the inverse operation, you get to practice an addition and subtraction problem at the same time. And of all the things you're going to learn in math, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of basic numbers is the key that you want to know their whole, your whole life. So let's subtract this, always starting in the 1's column again. 4 subtract 8, 4 take away 8, we can't do that. So we need to go next door here and borrow from the 2. So we'll cross this 2 off, and the 2 becomes 1. And we can put the 1 that we borrowed here. And so now we have 14 minus 8 is 6. And we have 1 minus 4. 4 is larger than 1, so we can't take 4 away from 1. So we need to look next door. We have 3 here. If we borrow 1, we're left with 2 here. And then this 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. And then we're left with 2 minus 1 is 1. So we subtracted 148 from 324 and we got 176 and that is the same as this number up here. So our addition problem was 176 plus 148 and the sum of those two numbers was 324. We checked our problem using subtraction using the inverse operation so we took 324 which was our answer we subtracted 148, which was the number right above here, and we got 176. So we have the same numbers here as here, so we know that we have the correct answer. Let's try another problem. Let's get a new sheet of paper. We have 74. Again, I'm writing neatly. I'm going to make sure my numbers are lined up. 74 plus 
46. So we again start in the ones column. 4 plus 6 is 10. So we put the 0 down here. We carry the 1 over here. So 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So we just write the 12 here, and our answer is 120. Let's check that problem with the inverse operation. So we'll take this 120, and we'll subtract this 46 from it. Again, it's very important as you write these numbers out that you make sure the ones column is lined up the tens column and the hundreds column because if you wrote 120 subtract 46 you're gonna make them this is will not be right because by putting the 46 here you're actually making it 460 and these two problems are very different from each other so it's very important that you pay attention and line the ones digits up with the ones digits the tens with the tens hundreds with the hundreds if it's helpful for you to put a zero here to let you know that there's zero hundreds, then do that. Zero minus six, we can't do, so we borrow from this two. The two becomes one, and this zero becomes 10. Now, 10 minus six is four. One minus four, we can't do, so again, we'll borrow from this one, which then becomes zero. And this 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. 74 here is the same as 74 here. So using the inverse operation, we learned that we have this problem correct. 465 plus 321. Again, I'm writing neatly, and I'm making sure that the digits are lined up correctly on top of each other. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 4 plus 3 is 7. So the sum is 786. Let's check this problem using the inverse operation. 786, we're going to subtract 321, and if we get this answer correct, we should get 465. So 6 minus 1 is 5, 8 minus 2 is 6, and 7 minus 3 is 2. 200 sorry, 7 minus 3 is 4. We have 465, and that matches this 465. Now, if you make a mistake like this, and you put 265 like I did, you can check up here and say, oh, it should be 465, so let me recheck, and then you can just double check your subtraction Make sure that's correct, and double check your addition to make sure that's correct. 